Now we're trying to pack up. Tomorrow we leave for Kentucky, but we do have snow coming in and uh, try to shove as much as we could. And here it's quite comical how packed it is. And then everything in here. If we have to go to the bathroom tonight, that's gonna be entertaining trying to drive with all this, but just trying to keep as much stuff dry as possible with the snow coming. Sunset is amazing though. So the plan is to leave tomorrow after Marshall's done with work <laughs> and probably gonna drive throughout the night, him and I. But you keep putting me in it. I keep trying to hide. <laughs> it's your last night in Colorado, babe. I know. I'm sad. No, you're not. <laughs> There's a huge smile on your face. It's bittersweet. You're a liar. Oh, Starlink's doing its thing. Look at it. It's already up. I just turned it on like a minute ago. What were you saying? Starlink boots up really fast if it's been like within a few hours of being turned off. Yeah. It's already up. I just turned it on like two minutes ago. Hmm. Find a place for these. That's where they go. Percy, are you excited to go back to Kentucky? Kentucky? Hmm? Kentucky? So, I'm definitely not ready to leave. Who would want to leave that? Look how pretty that is. As the light won't focus. There we go. Run! Hide! Mac version 13 Shh. just came out. People. <laughs> are you hiding? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're here. We just got up. <laughs> We're supposed to be leaving around, you know, after work time. And that's what we've got to deal with. Percy, do you want to come in or do you want to stay? Oh my God, no, he wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, shut the door, he's here now. <laughs> uh, come Hello, here. Percy. Uh. Feel better? You like that cold, cold snow? He was so happy outside. Yeah, let me move this and you can climb up there. Come on. There you go. off and it's already full again with another inch of snow. <sighs> We're moving today. So glad we put everything in the truck except for what we couldn't fit. I got to break out my snow boots before we left Colorado though. Yeah. So the plan for today is going to be uh we're going to move. We're going to move after Marshall's meeting at about three o'clock I think. We are going to travel from where we are in Canyon City, we were gonna go up through uh, Colorado Springs and then hit I-70, but it's snowing all along there. I'm kind of worried about that mountain pass. So what we're gonna do is go through Pueblo and hit that Southern US route. Marshall is gonna be the one driving out of here. I am not driving out of this. I can't tell if Percy's like into this or not though. He's just kind of standing there a lot. Percy, what are you doing? Are you happy? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go play with him, go drink some coffee work on my 2023 bullet journal. It's actually turning out really nice. I'm really happy with it. So I'll do that, take a nap. 
we'll head out eventually. Hopefully the roads won't be too bad, but either way you'll know because I'll film. What are you doing? You're just eating snow. You're my little snow doggy. Here. One hundred percent, this dog is a husky. <laughs> thick snow man it's a little slippery on the feet too I think we might be trapped out here for the for the night the goal was to leave here in a few hours but it's changed from being 35 degrees above freezing to pretty much being 22 degrees the rest of the day it's fluffy though feeling super confident. If it wasn't with that 10% grade. This is insane. Oh! It's fluffy. No ice. That's new. In Kentucky, we just have a quarter inch to a half inch layer of ice and then snow. She's taking a video too. Look at her. Look at her go. Just, just look at her. He's recording and I'm recording. So we're getting a little nervous with all the snow. It doesn't seem like the storm is letting up like it was supposed to. We're gonna go down the road and go check out that hill. What are you thinking, Sam? There's a rug in my way. Oi! All right, I'm in four wheel drive, four high anyway. Someone drove up here. Yeah, that's promising that somebody actually drove up here. I'm getting attacked. And I can still feel the bumps underneath. <laughs> you really are getting attacked. <laughs> and honestly, if it wasn't that, hit, that main big, big turn at the very bottom of the hill, yeah, we could just kind of coast down. Yeah, scoot down the hill. Okay, we're gonna fix this. All better. Funny thing, it was supposed to stop snowing at like nine o'clock this morning. Yeah. And it is almost, it's 11, and it doesn't look like it's letting up. And tomorrow, do you know what the temperature's gonna be? Uh, mid 40s. Mm -hmm. Might have to, we just might have to push this back a day. That was me breaking. I do hit the brakes, it's gonna reach down to the, to the bottom, you know what I mean? Let's drive back, there's a couple little late climbs, we'll see how she does. Like I said, when you brake, you go right down to the, yeah. to the bottom. We gotta go in that parking lot that's over there, turn off traction control and go do a donut. <laughs> Are you actually doing donuts? Ah! Okay, I'm done. Let's stop. There's rocks. Oops. <laughs> got down the dirt pretty quick. I don't know, Sam. I'm torn. Let's look and see when it gets warm. You know when it's supposed to start to warm up? No, I don't. I don't know. And I'm also learning that what the Weather Channel says doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Like, this was supposed to be done. We were only supposed to get an inch, an inch. So we just went down the hill. There's a, well not the hill, but we went to the hill. Probably four or five inches of snow. I have snow tires, but if it was just the truck, I could probably make it down it. I'm just concerned that without trailer brakes, that thing is just gonna be 2,000 pounds pushing me. I don't know, I just don't think it's worth it. So it's gonna be a fun next 48 hours. So it is now about 2.30 and it does not stop 
pouring snow, so uh, we decided not to leave today because it's honestly going down that hill. It's way too dangerous. The probability of Marshall just launching himself off the hill is higher than usual. So we're hoping that by tomorrow we can leave, that, you know, the uh, it'll... What are we hoping? It'll... uh Thaw. Yeah. It'll melt. get... It'll melt a little bit. It'll get... The roads will be a little bit less chaotic. But it's funny because... Everywhere else around us has stopped snowing, and we are still just, it's just coming down on us. Like, this is what it looks like now, and it's just, it's starting to go away, but right where we are, that cloud of snow will not leave. It's just staying there. So it's just... It's still just coming down, man. It won't stop. What's wrong with your foot? Uh, you think so? No, he has a giant piece of uh, snow stuck to his foot. He yeah. doesn't like it. Go! Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we've, we already put the solar panels away yesterday, so we haven't had any solar coming in today. So we try to get some of the snow off the roof of the scamp, but I don't think the sun's hitting over there anyway. I've just been banging it up against the uh... I just don't have any gloves on, so it's extra cold. Here. Oh, you have gloves? No. I'm sorry. Oh, what's we'll that little punk? <sighs> Goodbye. We're keeping the inside of the scamp warm so everything is melting. These icicles are ginormous. Can't get them off though. <sighs> you good, bud? I'm in here, all nice and warm. Sam's doing what Sam does best, finding work that doesn't need to be done. Where was that energy on the road, huh? <laughs> uh, my favorite thing to do, annoy Sammy. I gave you a place to pee. I got out of my way. You're so nice. I'm tired. Well, take a nap and then fire the missiles. <laughs> All right, so we walk down. I think we're gonna be okay. The tracks are packed, so they're a little s slippery, but once you get over here in this powder, it is just next to no resistance. And I'm gonna try and hug close to this corner, so if I can, if I do start to lose control and pick up speed, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dump it in that ditch. Not ideal, but it's better than sliding down here at 40 mile an hour and flying off that hill <laughs> it's now in the 40s well high 30s and all the frost from last night all the hard hard snow has already started to thaw a little so it's just powdery oh it's, it's a big hill what do we say 10 to 12 degree incline right here in the shade though it's kind of hard packed yeah let me Yeah, it goes to ground pretty quick, so. I know yesterday when I was testing with my feet like that, I, it was it was slippery even when I did the little friction test. That's what we'll call it. Whew.
dad did something like this, not with a camper, just going up a snowy hill. It was in Kentucky, so it was mostly ice. He got up it about three quarters of the way, and then he couldn't go any farther, and he hit the brakes, and was gonna start easing back down, and then pretty much just free fell. It's just slid like a sled. Are you gonna make it? Nope. We're going backwards. Be quiet. I got be the quiet. brakes on right now. Okay, maybe you should let them off a little bit. They say don't use them when you're sliding. Just. Everybody be quiet. Still. 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 Be quiet. Still. Still. Can we break it all now? Hang on, break. hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. brakes all the way down that hill. Okay, I got my phone and I got one of the walkie-talkies. Okay, where's the other walkie-talkie? Right there. Okay. I'm gonna go check it one more time, figure out my line. Okay. Power on. Radio check. Radio check. Alright, I'm gonna take the right side of the track this track's too slippery. Um, and yeah. Just call me when you're down there. Okay. Love you. Love you. I hope we don't ruin the truck. <sighs> Point of no return now. All right, we're at about eight degree grade. It's probably the slowest I've ever gone down a hill. She's probably teasing me now because of how slow I'm going. degree grade. My tires are packed with snow. I'm at the first divot. All right, coming up on the second little hump. This is going to be my slowdown point. Camper sideways. Okay, I'm still able to break. The tires sound horrible. All right, here's the last little hump that would slow me down if I was free falling. Cool, we're at the turn. Starting to level out a little bit. It's a little scary, but uh, <laughs> yeah. It looked like it was sideways for a second. I didn't look back. Like the scamp actually looked like, like the truck was like this, and then the scamp was kind of like that. It might have been. <laughs> That looked terrifying. It was super nerve wracking. <laughs> but uh, every time I brake checked, it, it stopped. Okay. And the wheels, I guess because this is like good snow packing yeah. snow, or yeah, packing snow, it was just piling on my wheels. I'm like, that's a good thing, you know? Yeah. I was so scared for you. <laughs> and I was a little filled with adrenaline. Yeah. Jeez Louise. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get off and get through this slush and then I'm gonna turn off four wheel drive. <laughs> I was 
like checking out the ditch. What sucks though is when you lose control, you can't even turn. It took us 24 hours to drive the 1,100 miles back to Kentucky. We made it safely and have spent the last couple of weeks preparing for the next year. Marshall and I have some exciting changes coming up, ones that we've been working towards for the past couple of months. 2023 is going to be quite the experience for both of us, together and separately. And we can't wait to share the details with you in our next video.